welcome to tonight's Big Brother 16 recap. Well, if you guys remember the last time we watched... It was a magic show. Nicole disappeared and she reappeared as a frog this time. Brittany turned her into a frog. She's got to wear a frog costume for the rest of the week. Ugh. And it's not even like a froggy tard. It's like a full-on frog suit. It's like a cheap Halloween costume frog. I don't know about cheap, but it looks pretty quality. heavy, especially for that California heat. Yeah. Well, Ugh. the best case scenario this week, if you're Derek, is Devin does not get picked for the POV, nor does he, if he does get picked, <laughs> win. Okay, so FYI, Donnie and Amber communicated really well during the challenge, and she did kiss him on the cheek, but they are not an item. They're just friends, Caleb. I have a feeling that that was for Caleb, but he can't watch the diary room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, unfortunately, Jocasta is sick. She was having some, like, stomach issues before the challenge, but then being outside in that hot weather really she got, like, messed her up. heat stroke. Heat exhaustion and, and dehydration. Yeah. So she was really not feeling so good. <sighs> Caleb was taking her to the bathroom. Was it really necessary to have the overhead view in the bathroom of her throwing up in the toilet? That was, that was horrible. And then Caleb... Damn, she's all jacked up. <laughs> I have to say, though, Caleb was really a gentleman and a sweetheart for taking care of Jocasta the way he did. Yeah, after he A couple the of comp. them did. <laughs> all right, well... It's the least he could do. Yeah, right? So, speaking of Caleb, he tells Amber, I threw that competition for you. And I think you need to be my date to the finale. Ah! She's just like, I told you not to do that. Yeah. I told you not to. She feels like he feels that she owes her something. He owes him something. <laughs> she owes him something, but, but she, she doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't owe him anything. And he's like, what else do I need to do in front of six million people? Is that many people really watching? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? You can't do anything to make anyone like you. You can't do that. You that, can't just throw competitions at for them. It's really seriously creepy. Well, it's going to get creepier. Just wait. Well, she is definitely not going to date him. So he might as well just forget about it right now. You know who might date? Hayden and Nicole the Frog. What? He totally wants to be the Prince Charming that kisses the frog to make the princess. Oh, that's not how it works. <laughs> All right, well, Amber might want to date somebody else as well. She's getting a little back rub from Cody. She says that they're just best friends. Well, <laughs> Caleb is totally stalking them. Oh, my God. Okay, so they showed Amber getting the shoulder rub. Mm -hmm. and, then, and he's like this. And then they show the creepy death stare yeah. from Caleb, who's watching from the bedroom down the hall. It was insane. Then he walks past them, and it's just like... <laughs> yeah, so Gave then... A stink eye. So then, a little while later... Caleb totally confronts Cody in the HOH room. And yeah. he's like, so is there something going on between you and Amber? It's okay if there is. Just, you know, let me know. And just let I'm me so know if I have guys. to put you on the block. <laughs> it was really awkward. Oh, boy. So, Cody, Caleb, and Derek, they have a little meeting of the minds in the HOH room. They're like, we got to win that POV and take off our boy. Yeah, Derek's like, if I get house guest choice, Cody, boy, you're up. And, uh... After Caleb leaves the room, yeah. Cody's like, I don't know, man. Maybe we should get rid of Caleb this week. This might be our only chance to get rid of him. It's, it's a good the point. beginning of the season. Still, though, if you, he's on a silver platter right now. Mm -hmm. He's beast mode cowboy. That's right. Well, he might be <laughs> beast mode going home. I don't know. Well, Team America had some work to do this week. Yep, they had their first challenge this week. They have to spread their rumor that somebody in the house is related to a former house guest. All right. So, as we already discussed, they were spreading the rumor that Zach is Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. So, Donnie tells Nicole, Can I borrow you for five minutes? <laughs> 
And Nicole tells Christine, even though she wasn't sure if it was true or not. There was so much edited out of this. You guys, if you want the full story on the Team America mission, you should definitely watch my spoiler videos. Right. Because there was so much going on here. Now, Derek tells Caleb, and Caleb, of course, tells Amber because... She's the only one that he wants to talk to in the house. Yeah, and then um, they decided they were actually going to tell Zach. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, Zach would spread the rumor even more. Of course. So they tell him. Zach is hilarious. He's just like, maybe I am her cousin. That was really funny. I saw this play out on the feeds live, yeah. and it was hilarious with him eating his soup the whole time. He was I don't just know. holding court in the kitchen island. Yeah, I don't know if anyone other than Zach would have handled this. Right like this. It was hilarious. Well, they attempted to tell Victoria the rumor, but... She was like, oh yeah, I know. Um, Paula told me before she left. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how she just made that up. Yeah, so Jocasta... She's a space alien? Jocasta know. is really, really not feeling well. She's, She's totally dehydrated. dehydrated. She can't get out of bed. They have a garbage can next to the bed so she can keep throwing up in it. Yeah, so she can't make it to the ceremony to pick the POV players. So, instead, her bow tie shows up. <laughs> they put a bow tie on the nomination <laughs> All right, so it's time... I'm sorry, that just... That was great. It was great hilarious. Detail. I love that. So Derek picked first, and he picked Christine. And then Caleb picked out his favorite, Devin. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. And then Jocasta's tie, aka Derek, picked out Donnie. And the host is Cody. Oh. So Derek pulls Donnie aside. He's like, look, this is what's happening this week. Devin is the target, and we're going to get him up on the block. So where are you with all this? And Donnie was basically like, I ain't going to tell him squat. He can take a hike. Yeah! Because he ain't never talked no game with me. I'm so glad that Donnie stood up for himself. I know. Because they treat him like crap. They talk down to him all the time. And they don't include him in things. So why should he tell exactly. them what his plan is? Besides, he ain't got no alliance to Devin. He's not in the Double Ds anymore. Double Ds is over. He's dead. All right. Well, Team America completed their first mission. No thanks to Frankie. So, the second well, one. Well, Frankie did think it up. The second mission. It's up to you, America, to decide what they're going to do. Put a floater on the block or put a physical threat on the block. This sounds like BS to me. This sounds really easy because there are four nominees. Yeah. Well, I hope... America, that you pick physical threat because I want to see this game changed up. Yeah, me too. So, physical threat, it's time for beast mode. The boys, oh aka Caleb and Derek, they. And Devin, we're all um, getting pumped up. Devin thinks he's Rocky, but. Uh, <laughs> Caleb thinks he's Tim Tebow. Yeah. Both they, Caleb and Derek pull out the liquid eyeliner. Let me just say, they used a crap ton of liquid eyeliner and that stuff is not cheap and it's kind of difficult to get off too especially if it was waterproof well but, they use it for eye black right it's crazy it looked ridiculous <laughs> really come on they actually spent a really long time putting that on frankie too. put it on and then he had to dry it with a hair dryer and powder it as well all right after all that ridiculousness, it's time for the competition. It's BB Casino. Wow. The door handle came off in Devin's hand as they were going outside. <laughs> hey, guys, the handle <laughs> came off. How handsome did Cody look in that host outfit? Beautiful. So, basically, the competition is a head-to-head -head competition. You get in a die, one half of a dice, and um, you have to spin the dice until you end up with the right number on the top. Yeah, Cody spins a wheel. Right. And they select a number. So say you get like four. Mm-hmm. So you have to roll that die. You have to move it around is it the one, field. Is it die? It's die. You have to roll your die and bring it back so that you end up on the platform on the correct number. If you're not good at visualizing things, you're this challenge suck. will be a real fart for you. Yeah. 
They also chose the players in random order. Mm -hmm. So first up was Christine. She chose to face off against Devin. She's going right for him. This was actually pretty close. But, but Devin, Devin pulled, it out. pulled it out. Yeah, I'm shocked because I didn't think Devin had the head for this. Sorry, Christine. Well, Derek was up next and he chose, hmm, Devin? Ah! <laughs> All right, so. Derek was so close. Yeah, but, but he blew it. He really did blow it. He was doing these robot moves, trying to like figure it all out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> he overthunk it so bad, mm -hmm. and he lost. So Devin prevailed. Donnie was up next. Donnie versus Devin. Devin. <laughs> Devin. Yeah. Same. Same. All is right. right. So Donnie, they're all like, "Yo." I know you're some kind of Navy SEAL in there. Oh, my God. Well, this did a lot for the rumor now because Donnie kicked his A. Ah! So, oh, my gosh. I was surprised how much everyone was cheering. It kind of made me feel bad for Devin that they did that. They were all like, ah! Well, you know what? And <laughs> somebody was like, oh, yeah, um, I guess you're not just a janitor. And Donnie's like, I was Kelly Pickler's janitor. <laughs> That was crazy. That was great. Yeah. So then it came down to the final two, Caleb versus Donnie. And Donnie freaking wins it because Yay! Donnie is the most awesomest house guest ever in Big Brother history. Mm-hmm. Hashtag old man beat down. Oh, Donnie. I was so happy for him. So Me too. right after the competition, Donnie goes in to tell Joe Costa what happened. He was like, you're safe. I'm using it on you. She was sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, my God. It was such a sweet moment. And, of course, Frankie had a whore in on it. And he was like, <laughs> It's not about you, Frankie. It's about your Costa. All right. She was really extremely touched. She mm -hmm. was like, I give so much. And now, finally, it's been given to me. It so. was so sweet. Yeah. And I then <laughs> Cody comes in the room to try and make her feel better. He does a little strip tease for her. That was hilarious. I mean, you know, you give what you can. I guess so. Well, Devin's pretty bummed about the whole thing. I just wanted to win that for my daughter, and I just really feel like I let her down. I just wish, like, I could see her right now and hug her and kiss her, but all I have is this tattoo on my arm right now, and I'm just looking at it and like, wow, I can't wait to see her tomorrow and just... Tell her how hard I worked for this. Hi, daughter. Hi, Daddy's Dad. Home. Oh, I'm so happy Hi, to see Dad. you. Hi, Dad. Oh. How was the show? Did you miss? Did you see how hard I fought for you? Uh, Dad, can you introduce me to Donnie? Well, He's so cool. Well, aren't you happy to see me now? You're a loser, Dad. Donnie's a winner. He's my hero. Oh, daughter. Sorry, Dad. Truth hurts. All right, so it's time for the veto ceremony. <laughs> yes. Of and course. Donnie uses it on Jocasta. He's like, I he, just want you to get better. Yeah. He's such a sweetheart. Can you tell we really like Donnie? All right, I so. I think everyone does. <laughs> Derek, as according to plan, puts up Devin. So it's Caleb versus Devin. Uh oh, hot dog. Who's going to go home? If you want a little cheat, make sure you watch your spoilers. Yep. And make sure you chat with us on Beamly. <laughs> Good times. All right. So until tomorrow, much, much love. Edit. Edit.